The history of Rose Bayard is dated back to the 8th century. Come, follow us. Let's take a glimpse at the medieval life of Duke Amon, the lord of the demon, and his four sons, known as the Hems Kindering. Hello fans, welcome to Suzygist, where we talk about people from the hairstyle of a village boy to celebrities like Rihanna. We also talk about places from a village hut to big palaces. We also cover events such as birthday and wedding parties. What else do we not do? If you are new here, please like, subscribe and hit on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever we upload a new video. Don't forget to leave your comments on the comment section below as we give you the gist for today. Last week, we shared two videos of Rose Behat Parade in Den de Monde. And many of our fans have been contacting us to get the history behind the event. Please grab your popcorn, take a glass of wine, relax as we share the history of Rose Bayard Omeham. At the end of the 8th century, King Charles was a lord of Liege, while Duke Amon was a lord of Dendemon under Charlemagne's reign. Amon helped in many of Charles' war but thought that Charles, his liege lord, had not shown him gratitude enough when he got only Dordogne with the capital of Albi for helping in many of Charles' war. He was even angrier about the fact that his warrior friend, Eugene Narbonne, got nothing at all and decided to become renegade until Charlemagne gave him a suitable reward. In the end, Charles added Amon's wealth in gold and offered his sister, Aye, as his wife. Amon was not truly satisfied and swore that he would kill any child born out of his union with the king's sister, Aya. So anytime Aya was pregnant, she would pretend to visit her sister in pierre le pont stay dead until she should give birth and return to Duke Amon. So Aye raised her four sons, Richard, Richard, Adihert, and Renaud in secret at Pierre Le Pont. One day, Amon told her how he regretted not having any offspring with her. That was when she then showed him his sons. The four Amon sons, also known as the Vir Hemskindering, all became knights. Duke Amon was very impressed with Renaud, who was of great height, feisty, and strong. The youngest Renaud needed a special strong horse and reportedly got the strongest horse of Europe, the Rose Beard. The horse was so strong that it can carry the four brothers on its back. At the Pentecostal feast, Amon brought them to Paris to be presented to the emperor. Charlemagne and Renaud proved himself a worthy combatant in the royal tournament and won the emperor's favor. When the four brothers were in Paris, Charlemagne's son, Lodewick, got interested in the horse, but Renaud wouldn't give it up. Unfortunately, Renaud killed one of Charlemagne's nephew, Bertolet, in a brow affair over a cheese game. When the four brothers were presented at Charlemagne's court in Paris, Renaud kills Charles' son, Louis. So a conflict arose, after which the brother had to flee as they were being chased by Charlemagne's troops. The host, Rose Bayard, carried all the brothers on its back and leaped across valleys to safety. They flew to the court of King Lop, the Gascon, who betrayed them to Charles. The father escaped at Pesua with the help of King Son of Aquitan, who later gave his daughter, Claire, also known as Clarice, to Renaud as his wife. He also offered him the castle of Mount Tuban. Charles attacked the castle, and after months of siege, Renaud had to surrender. After Renaud surrendered, Charles wanted to kill them, except they were ready to kill the horse. 
In the end, a kind of truce was agreed on the condition that Rose Bayard would be killed. The cause of that survivor was the drowning of the horse. The horse was eventually drowned in the river, only after various attempts because it was so strong. From the 14th century, the powerful horse that saved the life of the four sons of Duke Amon, the Lord of Dendemonde, at the end of the 8th century, is being celebrated every after 10 years. Rose Bayard, this saved the life of the four sons of Amon. Just imagine what the horse felt being drowned after saving the life of Amon's sons. Will it not have been better if the horse were just handed over to Charles as a gift rather than drowning it after all the brave work done? Please share your opinion in the comment section below. Don't also forget to like, subscribe, and hit on the notification bell as we watch some historic Rose Bayard parade. Hier de vroeg speelt de man. Dat is ons paard. Zo is het maar in. En nu zal in één beweging met de vier heemskinderen, Ritsaert, Ritsaert, Adelaert en Reinoud, met de kleuren van Dendermonde. Laten we de stel de man doet dat goed. Met de nar, met de vedelaar en de pijnders die het ros laten salueren voor het publiek. En voor iedere rechte aarde dan er mondenaar en ook voor degenen voor wie het nu spijtig zijn dat ze het niet zijn. Nu zijn alle mensen van de monden heen. Maar het ros wijkt niet. Het doet nu echt zijn ronde in de monden. Het is een hele kunst hè, om het paard te doen groeten en te Zeker. doen stijveren. Het vraagt vanwege de pijn dus enorm veel werk, enorm veel oefening. En na al een inspannende tocht door de Monde, want ja. dit is niet zomaar één uh, rondgang, hè, dit vuurgevecht. Nee, nee, dat is, dat is ongeveer uh, vijf kilometer hebben die mensen daar gedaan. En een krachttoer, want ze zetten hun paard dus niet neer. Hè. Daar bijna eruit. Dat moet nu voor die kinderen toch ook wel een ongelooflijke, ongelooflijke zijn voor de rest van hun leven. Ongelooflijk, hè. Men zegt dat een aalstenaar de paardenkop gemaakt.
Hello, guys. That was how the four Hemskinderin paraded the Rose Bayard in 2000. The weather was very bad. It was raining, but the people were there and made sure it was successful. Now, let's look at how the parade took place in 2010. like, comment, subscribe, and hit on the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload and